So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something I've never done before. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, because like I said, I've never done it before. I haven't watched any videos on it. But it just seems like it should work. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, I don't even know how valid that is that I that, uh, I'm gonna I don't even know how valid it is to say uh, it seems like it'll work. But the mask, you can see all these little cracks and stuff in it. And this is all, what you've seen is everything up to the first layer of wet sanding. Basically, what I've been doing is, is uh, wet sanding the entire thing and then uh, in different colors. And then when I got the final colors that I'm going to put it in, I've been taping off and just wet sanding in the colors, you know, that way I can make sure when I put down the final layer uh, that I'm going to have a base down for each color and all I should have to really do is put a light coat except for over these little tiny spots. Uh, that way I don't have to wait very long for it to dry. Uh, the mask is done, a few, few wet sanding and then I painted it silver. Uh, but that's all you've missed, is all I've been doing is the same thing over and over again, uh, except I went and got the real colors, and you can see how, while it gets smoother, more, more, uh, paint stays, you know. So, that's all you've missed. Now, what I did is I taped up all the inside of here, and I'm going to make a saddle for this to set on. I could... What I could have done, and probably what I should have done, but I want to show you guys what this looks like as a 3D print that you're going to get. That's the whole point of these. That's why I didn't fix the uh, top parts up here of the uh, Kylo Ren helmet. It's because I want to show you the actual print itself. So, in that, you know, you got some spots here and across here and over here. Uh, if I were to do this again, which, and I might do it in the future, I would bondo the hell out of this, you know, this area here on the mask, and over here, and get them to match up perfectly, but I want to show you guys that, and I don't want you to be able to see through this part, because I'm going to be putting LED lights on here, so I don't want any shine coming out through any of these cracks, and I want to be able to put this on, I'm not going to, this has this little part that goes over the front of this, and so the thing that I was going to order to get this to slide back wouldn't work on this because it would just get caught on that on that part there. So I'm going to have to put this in using magnets. And the only parts that I could actually do that on is where the top part here and here meets up there. And then there's a part of this here that goes up under the mask. And I could just take the easy way out and do that. But what I'm going to attempt to do, and I don't know if I can catch this on video, probably can't, is I'm going to take this here, and I'm just, I've got the whole inside of the mask taped, and I'm basically just going to create a layer all the way around. I've used this stuff before, and it gets hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. Uh, and it sticks really good. Uh, so... That's why I put tape on the back side, uh, so I don't have to worry about the mask sticking to it. I can just kind of remove the tape. It's probably going to take me a lot just to get that off, that helmet off. But basically, what I'm, what I want to do is find specific points that I can. I can kind of just create like a saddle type thing, I guess, is what I'm trying to say.
So I, I didn't know how successful it was going to be, so I pulled it off off camera. But that's what it kind of looks like. So there's that there. Kind of you can sand it down straight, but I don't know how straight I want it because I want it to look like the inside padding that's on the inside of this uh, suit, which I know that some Iron Man padding is an Iron Man suit, but I'm not sure about. I think of. Iron Patriot is pretty slick, so that one up there is probably where I'm going to put the uh, the magnets up here. See, I can put them on the other side of here, and it's going to read through the other side. So that'll be perfect. Brayden, where'd that mask go? Now this just sits in here super easy. This goes right in. You just put the top in. Whoop. Top in first. It goes right in. And now there's no gaps. You can't even see the bottom. You can barely see the top part. I think I'm just going to paint it silver. So, Alright, now it's time to do a little bit more sanding. Make sure I get all these spots here off because that will mess up the paint like crazy. Uh, so now we're getting to the primary painting. Oh, you want to do the big one first? What I do whenever I'm doing the wet sanding and I start using the regular colors so I can kind of get a feel for where things go is I go from the smallest color out to the biggest color because it doesn't matter if it overlaps and stuff. But when you're actually doing the painting painting, you want to start with the biggest color, the one with the most, and work your way into the smallest color. So we're going to do blue, and then silver, and then red. So you want to cover the most at a time, let it dry, because uh, your tape is going to be covering those bigger parts more often. And you want to make sure that it's all dry and good. Uh, and you don't want to have to go over it a ton of times and risk it spider webbing and such. So. Since I've already got that base coat because we've been doing the sanding, I just need a light coat, so it's not even going to take much to cover it. You just take just a few little quick passes. That's it there. Basically, so much of it's covered that on the bigger spots, all I'm basically doing is putting a very light coat over it. Try to be aware of your tape. Try not to shoot up under the tape or anything if you can. That sucks. like after the paint. I went in here with black and dry brushed on the, these little on the saddle parts. So when the helmet's on that just looks like a black space. 
I had them the, the same colors as the color around it, but then it looked sloppy. It just looks better with the black in it.